Hello and welcome to Nerd Chat. So today I am going to do, I don't know why I always adjust my hair. Nervous tick, I guess. So today I am going to review two books that I got when I was in the cities like a month ago or something. I got them both at the same time at Half Price Books. Um, you may have seen that vlog. I just figured I've read them both. So the first one I'm going to review, I read this one first. It's called Emmy and Oliver by Robin Benway. Um, this one was released in 2015. So Oliver was kidnapped when he, when they were both in second grade. And years, years later, it's about his story of getting found and um, coming back to his home with his mom and her new family. So it's about him trying to adjust to this whole new world. And Emmy, you know, when she was, when they were in second grade, she had a little crush on him. So she's still trying to, when he comes back, she's trying to figure out what happens now. Like, are we friends? You know, she wants more, but he's so confused and trying to adjust to his world. And Emmy has got a lot going on too. Um, she has this big secret that she's hiding from her parents. And so they're trying to renew that friendship and, you know, they both want something more and they both have so much going on in their lives and they want to support each other and get each other through that. So it was a really, really good book. It's a super easy read and I love that they do the little fingerprints hard on the front. I always like to do that in the car. Um, if the window is frosty, I'll do that. So I think it's really, really neat story. Um, yeah, I really, really liked it. Um, I hope Robin Benway writes a lot more. So that is Emmy and Oliver. And the other one I got is called The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. Um, I absolutely love this book. After I read her other one, Everything Everything, I had to find this one and read this one. Um, this one came out in 2016. So it's only a year old. And so it's about Natasha and Daniel and Natasha and her family are about to be deported to Jamaica and so she is doing everything in her power to stop it from happening because she grew up in the US and it's her home and she doesn't even know Jamaica and she doesn't want to to go there and up she doesn't want to uproot she doesn't want her life to be uprooted and her family's lives so um, it's about that it's about her and it's about Daniel and I love these type of books that tell like two different people's stories, two different people's point of views. I love that. And then showing how they connect. I just love those types of books. And then there's Daniel, who is, you know, he tries to be the best son he can be. He tries to work hard in school and do his best. And um, so his family holds their sons, you know, to a very high expectation. They want them to do the best, be the best, and he's supposed to be going to this interview um, to this big fancy college so he can become a doctor, and that's not his choice. That is his parents saying, you need to become a doctor so you can have a good life. And so they meet on a New York City street, and then their story just goes from there. They don't expect to meet each other, they don't expect for their lives, you know, to connect, especially on these very important days in their that they both have going on. So it's about them their story, them getting to know each other, and just this crazy, this crazy coincidence, call it fate or whatever. Yeah, it's about their story, and it's just this book. When I, it was a real quick page turner, just like Emmy and Oliver, I whipped through it, I could not put it down, easy read. When I finished this book, I was, Oh, this is a very intense book. It's very sad and happy and like confusing at times. And, I mean, there was parts where I was towards the end where I was like almost crying, trying not to cry in public. And I, when I finished it, I just sat there like this. I was just like staring off into space, like trying to soak it all in because I got chills all the way through my body towards the end of this book. And uh, just read it, read it, read it, read it. It is so, Bella's trying to get in, hang on. <laughs> Bella. <laughs> so yeah, absolutely, absolutely read this book. Um, read both of them. They're both so, so amazing. Um, yeah, 
if any of my friends in town here ever wanted to borrow these books or any of the books behind me, obviously you can at any time. If you don't live here, go to the light, go to your local library, go buy them. They are worth it. Trust me. They are so, so good. Um, Bella, don't knock her <laughs> book stack tripod over. So yeah, um, I think that's all I want to say about them. I am working on trying to get better at book reviews. I am not great yet, but I want to be better at them because obviously Cody and I are huge bookworms and I want to be able to, <laughs> I want to be able to review books because I love sharing book recommendations and feelings about books. Yeah, especially this one. This one gave me all the feels, seriously. But both of them. Yeah, I'm rambling now, but... <laughs> Yeah, um, if you guys have any book recommendations for me or any recommendations on how I can get better at doing book reviews, yeah, um, leave comments down below. Um, I think that's all I have to say for today. Thank you all for watching and I will see you later.